Hi guys, how you doing? I want to take a look at this uh, week three project, phase two concept design. And I think one of the most important things here is, is, is that, you know, after you guys got um, week two stuff back and my comments and some videos and some things that I, I just want to say that one thing that should be very apparent right now is that as we're designing, we're, we're, we're not just designing, we're designing with purpose. In other words, every this right here to me is the critical one of the critical sentences as it were or ideas in this whole class the big question is why you should be asking yourself that question every single thing you design in this project so in other words if you're designing your logo and you decide to put up this design element over here to the side of the logo ask yourself why and if you don't have a darn good reason, then reconsider doing it, okay? And that's the part about the big question is why. That's the part about asking you to think, start thinking about, does everything fit together in concert? Maybe I'm not gonna put this over here, this design element. It might look good, but it, there's no real critical reasoning as to why it's there, okay? And that's what I want you to think about in this assignment. Let's take a look at this. In the, uh, for this phase of the project, we'll be required to create visual interpretations from all the data you have gathered through your research um, in phase one. Those visual elements will culminate in themselves in the inclusion of logos and pictograms. What are pictograms? Pictograms are those little things. Um, let me show you something. I'll just, I'm just going to jump in here. I'm going to say, you know those little um, uh, figurines that look like they're doing the sport? Uh, um, elliptic pictograms here. I'm just going to open a like, and you know these things. We've all seen them. You know, we have all the different events. Well, you're going to be designing those along with the logo, I would say, presumably to start the project, okay? So basically, what is that saying? This, this is saying, to me, this is saying, all right, I'm going to take all of the information and all the research I've done right now, both visual, well, I would say especially visual, and, and written research, and I'm going to go through it, I'm going to pan through it, I'm going to really start scouring, saying, what can I extract from here that can be of pertinent use to the project? This might take a minute. Then what you're going to do is you're going to start to, to visually interpret. When you're pulling these things out of importance, you're going to start thinking about how can I visually interpret this, okay? Now, don't start thinking towards end goal yet. In other words, don't start thinking about designing your logo. Just think about ideas. That's all I want you to do for this, okay? This is going to make a lot of sense in one second. So the visual interpretation will eventually be narrowed down to three options and developed into a story, okay? What does that mean? That means that well, the story will then need to be organized into approximately two to five page written report, including your written story. That means describing what the thought pattern behind your all of your decisions, the logo, your refined sketches, and your pictograms. Okay, that's due week four. This week, you're going to start to begin to organize your thoughts in a written draft. All right, this is where it gets tricky, and this is where I just really pay attention to this right here. Six, this is what is needed. This says six solid sketches of as many logo concepts, pictograms, and other identity elements you can think of. Let's forget that. That's not clear. Say six solid pages of sketches, okay, as a, of as many logo concept pictograms and other identity elements as you can think of. Now, that's what I said before. Um, don't start thinking all the way to logo, all right? Start thinking about just all of these visual representations. Representations. How can I take, I mean, this is just an example. How can I take the textiles from my um, um, location, okay? Or how can I take indigenous textile patterns from my location of choice? And how can I take that visual and, and, and translate that to, into my interpretation of um, of what I'm thinking, okay, of, of, of visual interpretation of, of that particular part, part of the project, all right? So I would start sketching that out, all right? And that's how you'll start. Eventually, you're going to end up with a bunch of pages of sketches 
but concentrate on how you're going to develop those sketches into your logo. All right. So I know what I just said, it might sound kind of tricky, but I bet all I'm really asking you to do is don't sit down and start saying, okay, I'm going to design my logo for my Olympics. I would start and start saying, okay, what is important in my research and how can I translate that visually? Once you get that point down and you have a bunch of sketches, then you can start thinking about the way that you visually translated your research, okay, into something that you have now have form to work with and you can start to develop your logo. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, please contact me and I'll see if I can clarify that. But that's really an important consideration in this part of the assignment. All right. So, so, and that's why I say this is so important. We started out with this. The big question is why. So when you're designing, okay, and when it comes down to, to getting, you know, your logo ideas down, think about the reason why. Think about why. Why am I, why do I want to use this typeface? Why do I want to use these colors? And those are the questions that need to be answered through your work. Okay? Thanks, guys.